I guess, what advice do you have for buyers at the moment? Do they get their finance in order first? Do they speak to you first? Do they start looking at properties first? What's the what's the first part that, that you would say? We can't buy property without money, so you need to ensure that either you've got the money sitting in the bank, which only few do, um, or you align yourself with a good mortgage broker, mm-hmm. and they'll be able to you know, give you an assessment. Some people might need to go on a fitness di- uh, a finance diet, sorry, yep. and prepare themselves and, you know, make sure they don't eat out too many times over the next six months and, you know, cancel unnecessary subscriptions like gym memberships. But um, sit down with a broker. They'll help you plan. Once you know how much money you can get, then you know how much money you can spend. You can identify which area you want to buy in and the category of property. Gotcha. So once... Once you, you know, are completely vexed on what you can spend, it's like going to Louis Vuitton if you've only got the budget for Kmart. So you want you want to make sure that you've got enough money to buy the type of property you want or buy in the area that you want. Yeah. So once, you, once you're familiar with that, uh, then you can make the next step. The next step is obviously if you know a real estate agent in the area to, you know, get in contact with them and also forge a relationship with a good conveyancer. Okay. Um, so they'll be able to do things such as give you advice on contracts yep. um, and what your legal obligations are as a buyer. Okay. So I guess why are buyers coming back to the market now? Obviously, elections are finished, but it's just available capital. It's interest rates have dropped. I guess what are the main kind of motivators? They, uh, most people feel like they've hit the bottom of the market, and I agree with them. I yeah. think the worst is behind us, and it's a recovery period now. Uh, they want to get in now before prices go back up, um, which I think is a... You know, it's a, an amazing time to buy if you've got the got a pre-approval or you can turn one around over the next you know month or two. Yep. Great time to get into the market. Yep. Um, money's getting cheaper. Um, APRA is changing their or could change their assessment rate quite soon. Yep. Um, and the buffer between you know the actual cash rate and uh, what banks are assessing you on is likely to change too. So um, it's still going to be harder to borrow money, but. If you are a proven good borrower or are a good candidate for a bank, you're going to be able to get more. So yeah. I think if, you, if you're on 80 grand, single income, no kids, single bloke, yep. um, or, or lady, um, you could get 511000 from the bank at the moment. But um, that's due to, you know, with nothing changing to your circumstances, the banks can lend you up to 600000 now. Yep. So, you know, 15% additional borrowing capacity. Yep almost 20 yeah and, and and i think by putting that sort of money on the table is going to go hand in hand with prices coming back to life yeah sure um so we are starting to see a recovery i don't want to get ahead of myself but we're seeing some good signs of recovery um and you know the average number of buys through an open home now over the weekend i had an average number of 29 yep going back 12 months ago I had an average number of 12 yeah so it's a big jump isn't it it's, it's over doubled yeah. yeah so it's great 